Hello, welcome back to another installment of the Dream Army series. Um, as of this video, I still do not have the parts coming in. They, they, they shipped way late and they're coming from France. So, and I live in California, so who knows when they'll get here. Um, hopefully if by, by the time this, um, hopefully if I get them, I'll put them, the video of commemorating the Rune Father on the Magma Droth, which is like the main one that I wanted to do first. Um, I'll put that before the this video, but I mean in the meantime We're gonna do like a really quick kind of conversion of the knight encanter for our army You can see he's already kind of converted because I was using him for um, my uh, Cauldron overlords army, so I have this pike on here and like a drill on the tip of the His staff um, We're gonna be getting rid of that this part right here and getting rid of this um, He has a gun which I think that's pretty dope. I mean, like instead of using an arcane bolt, he's just like, I'll just shoot the person. Um, this is a, you may not recognize this Knight Encanter model. It's not really on their website. It's It comes with a magazine and it's like the best Knight Encanter model. It looks so cool. The pose is really great. He's got like lots of cool flowing stuff on him. So um, we have some bits out already that we're gonna do. I'm gonna be putting this little dwarfy banner bit from the Thunders kit onto the top of this this staff here. Um, a back end of a um, latchkey great axe onto the back of this. And then keys are like a really big part of their army. So I have this like keychain to put on him too. So it's a really small kind of uh, thing. Um, also I have this, I'm gonna scrape all this stuff off here probably cause I'm gonna respray this and you shouldn't have this on here. I probably won't be doing that on the video, but I'll just take an X-Acto knife and just kind of try to get it all off. Um, it's just Elmer's glue that's on there, but it's kind of tough to get off, so we'll see. Um, so first things first, let's take this part off, and I just kind of super glued it, I think, so it should just kind of pop off. Good. Um, you can see it's just a drill from a Codron Overlords bit, and I think this is like a better choice too, because I think this is gonna fit more with the Cauldron Overlords um, theme if I when I if I still use him for that army. So we're gonna do some cutting. Looks like we can probably cut it on this line here. Make sure we're kind of getting him the same cut. And then we can do the same thing on this side. And just cut there. Because before it was like this other, this part, and hmm, that went to go a little more off, but we'll see. Um, we're going to get out our, if we can find it, our pin vise should be in here. Here it is. Um, it's got the small drill bit in it that is is 1.2 millimeters which is the size of a um a paper clip for the most part but i also have this brass rod that is 1.19 millimeters that i use for pretty much everything i use it for my flying bases because i don't like the plastic flying bases that they come with it's really sturdy hard brass tubing um, so we'll be using it for a few things on this guy. So let's take this and let's get the middle here, kind of find the, the middle. And then just drill into this bit. You don't have to drill in too far, um, but it is hollow, so that kind of helps us a little bit right there. So we're, we're a little off center, but that's fine. And then we'll take this guy and we'll drill into the center of this too. Because you need to, we're gonna pin this piece in. I'm not gonna do what we did last time with that other one and just kind of glue it on. We want to pin it nice and solid. And so that's just like a better construction method anyway of the So try to drill as straight as you can. Keep your 
keep it kind of perpendicular or parallel to itself and just go for it. That's good. So then we can this we'll need super glue for this. We can take some super glue and put it on the end here of the the piece. And we'll stick it in there. So that'll be pinned on. And then we can kind of guesstimate how big we have to have it. We'll kind of oversize cut it right now. And just hold both ends when you cut it so you don't want them metal rod flying everywhere. Um, and we can kind of test fit it on. Uh, we can cut it off just a little bit, I think, and then we'll probably be pretty good. We can leave the, so we'll just take a little bit off this here just like a little bit more and this you might want to shoot into here because you're not gonna be able to get it all right and then we test fit it again we want the symbol facing out so let's take that put it in the hole nice so i think that's good and it lines it up pretty pretty good with that thing so we'll just take this We'll put a little dab of super glue there. And we have his staff, part of his staff done, the front and the top half. That's cool. And it looks like it's kind of part of it, especially when it's painted, it'll look a lot better too. Um, now for the back part, we want it to kind of have a pretty good length to the staff so probably here is where we want to cut it cut that so we're going to use this piece here we're going to cut this here drill in and have this stick out because this before like I, I did it before it's just glued on um, so we'll pop it off we'll pop this off first the little the cord for the sky hook and then we'll just take it here. All right, we'll probably have to clip it. Get our clippers. And you know what? Let's try. Maybe not. Let's just go here. Leave some of this like stuff. Because maybe it'll look cool together. And we take our piece. This is from the um, Underworlds kit of the. The fire slayers uh, there is a like a ruin master in that kit but the reason i'm not using this one for my main guy is that the his latchkey axe goes behind his head and his it's attached to his neck so like it's not i can't cut it off in one piece um to make it you know really look good so i had to buy the one that comes from the thing so this is a really tough piece because it's going to be a really so I'm trying to get a hole in here and it's a really small piece, so just kind of hold it. Be careful, don't go slow. Don't stab yourself, because um, that's not going to be fun. Don't push hard with the, the pin vise. And just kind of get that piece drilled. Like I said, you don't have to go too far. And then, we can kind of just line it up to see what it's going to look like. It's going to be like that. It looks kind of cool. It's cool. So we'll drill into here also. Um, being careful because it's just glued on like a to the back there. But so far, I mean, it's been pretty strong. So maybe it'll stay strong. Who's to say? So let's just drill it in there. So for this, we're gonna do the same thing. We just put a little bit of glue on here. We can stick the rod in there. Um, I don't think I went that deep. 
which is fine, but and then we'll take we're taking a lot off. Okay. And we'll put a little drop in here. Take our end with just this little nub on it. And hope that we drill far enough in this piece to get those. And just try to line it up as flat as you can. You can see it kind of bows a little bit. It's not 100% flat, but I think it works. Um, let's do the back. Just kind of bend it a little bit to make it as flat as you can. There we go. So now we have his new staff. Um, so that was pretty easy. Um, put these pieces back into our little scrap thing because these are for sure useful still. And now we'll just glue the keys probably right next to his little, his little vial thingy that he can explode himself with. Probably just glue it onto his belt kind of thing. So let's just put some drop of glue here. Take the key ring. And just kind of put it in there. We'll use this to help kind of push it into the right spot. Oops. Or knock it off the spot, you know. Either way. I have some little tweezers here that we can use. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to make it look like it's part of the, the belt here, like it's tied around the belt as good as we can. I think this was working better. like that. Okay. That's there and we'll take the glue and we'll drop a dab on there. And that'll hopefully try to squeeze the glue out but it is being a lot right now um, clean it up here so I don't have a bunch of glue over my desk there we go make sure air still goes through it because that's the best way to make sure that it doesn't um, clog up when you're done so that should just about do it for him so like I said, this is gonna be a really short video, um, but we have his key ring on him. I uh, did not see that goober there. I'll have to clean that off once this is dry. I hope it doesn't pop off. Um, got his little gun and his staff. I hope you like this video and this series. We'll be painting some of these guys pretty soon because I don't like to have like a huge backlog of things that I need to paint. Um, let me see if we can mess with this right now. If I can slice my hand open on camera. I mean, I could technically paint over this stuff. It's not the end of the world because it is just like cheap flocking kind of stuff. And this is what I'm going to end up basing it with anyway. But the chunks will matter. So we'll try to get the chunks out of the big ballast that I have on here to help get this flat. And 
And, and people are always like, use L PVA glue and stuff like that. I mean, I guess Elmer's glue is PVA glue. Um, but like, you don't need like specialty scenic glue or anything like that. Just buy the white Elmer's glue that you use in school, in kindergarten. <laughs> like, it's the, it works fine. It keeps the stuff on here. And you can see I'm having trouble getting some of it off. So you don't have to go crazy. Um, I, don't, I want to do this. Like, I'm probably going to do this for their bases. But if you guys have better ideas, definitely let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I have new videos. Well, I try to. Oh, I, so far I've had I've had new I have new videos every Wednesday, and that's my goal is to have a new video every Wednesday. So, to keep you guys entertained, and I hope you guys learn some stuff, or just like watching it in the background of you working or whatever. But. Couple more little stubborn guys back in there. Cool, so that gets all of that. And now that that's scratched off, let's get the little lazy Susan. And we'll do the, the traditional spinny spin of the model.